Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and today we are back with another monthly favorites review video. So in today's video, I will go through the usual category starting with jewelry, then move on to beauty. I actually have some other exciting accessory categories as well for you, so I'm excited to share. Before I go into the Majuri products, I just want to remind you guys that I do have 10% off with Majuri, so make sure you click on all the links below. The code is embedded, so you will be able to see the 10% off immediately upon checkout. This is only for first-time purchasers. Anyway, that being said, let's go to the first Majuri product. Okay, so starting with the Majuri favorites of the month, I actually have quite a few. First item is the solid gold ring from their Hearts collection. I actually have two items from the Hearts collection this time. This is the first one. This is the ring version. I just really like this ring because even though I feel like it kind of looks like a toy, but it reminds me of this like very youthful, I don't know, just like, you know, when you're younger, you just want all your jewelry to have hearts in them. So I feel like this is kind of the vibe that I get. This is what it looks like on its own. And I really like how this band right here is super thin. I talked about it in my latest Majuri collections video, which you guys can check out here. Here. but basically I was saying how in the summertime when your fingers swell up because it's hot and your body just swells up there's certain rings that you wear and you're just like okay that's really uncomfortable because it's so tight or maybe because the band is so thick that it just really really squeezes your finger so this is one of the rings where it's like I feel like with climate change or whatever you just still would be able to wear this ring as it is and just not feel uncomfortable so I really like this this one is also in solid gold so you can obviously wear it whenever you want and never take it off. The other item that I got from the heart collection, as you guys can see, is just right here on my neck. This is in the white version and this one is in gold vermeil. If you guys already watched my updated collections video, you will already know all of these products. But basically I actually have been wearing this nonstop and I haven't taken it off. I feel like you shouldn't do that, but so far it has given me absolutely no problems And I was talking about it in the video that the reason why I really like this is because I feel like white just stands out a little bit more than gold And I haven't really had a white piece of jewelry in my collection. That isn't a pearl item So I just really really like this. I feel like it's super super cute once again reminds me of just like a youthful time So definitely check this out This one is a little bit more affordable because like I said, it is the gold for me option It isn't in solid gold but they do have a few other colors as well that you guys can check out in the hearts that is also in gold verme or there is one in solid gold as well which is basically the necklace version of this ring so if you guys do still prefer the solid gold option you guys can check that out the next two items that i have from majuri are these two rings right here and i've been wearing it this month just together so this is what it looks like separately these are the two rings the first ring has a layer spheres kind of vibe which is kind of like the necklace that i already have that you guys saw me wear all throughout europe last year not this year but it was a little choker so i just always loved that necklace and i just knew i was going to like this ring as well but the only thing is these two rings are still in gold vermeil this one also is kind of has this beaded effect but it has the pearls at the top and i Feel like it looks super dainty and just really really cute i also explained in my updated collections video as well that for me i have been actually for ones taking off my jewelry which is why in the updated collections there is more of a mix between gold vermeil there is does that sound even make sense like just ring or not ring you know so as i mentioned in the now it rings so as I mentioned in the Majuri updated collections video, for me, I have been doing a little bit more of a mix because I've been having a pretty athletic year. I've been going to weightlifting classes, I've been playing volleyball, and I've also been going surfing. So a lot of these activities, especially volleyball, I've been taking off my bracelets because I'm just trying to bump the ball and I don't want them to just basically break on the impact of the ball coming onto my wrist. And same with weightlifting, when you weightlift, it's been really, really hard to keep my rings on because the weight being on the metal itself is super, super hard. So I have actually been taking off my jewelry a little bit more, which then opens up for me to use Gold Vermeil products a little bit more because I have to take it off anyway, so might as well. So these two rings I have also been loving this month, which you guys can check out as well. But I do really hope that they still make the solid gold version of these two rings because I feel like this definitely is a dainty enough vibe for it to be a solid gold product. So Majuri, if you're listening I'm letting you know now 
I want a solid gold version of these two rings. It's just, it's too nice. It's too nice. The next few products is not new, but I wanted to share because I have never gotten so many questions in my earring stack as much as I have this month in September. So I am actually going to be switching it up for October, but I wanted to share with you before I do take it off. But this is the stack that I had from Majuri that I styled in September. And all of these products I have already mentioned before, but I will just break it down for you guys in case, you know, maybe you missed a video here and there. Or if you haven't seen me style it like this before, then you guys can check this out. But essentially the first option here is one of their earrings and I styled it with their hoop charm. As you guys can see, I just put it on. This is one of the spheres earrings. This is in solid gold, so I never have to take this off. The second one is the one that I shared in a recent month. It's the bar earring. I don't know the exact name. I'll leave it on the side, but it pretty much has like a little bar here and then it breaks into another bar. This is also in solid gold. And then the last piece that I have here is actually just the threader, which I think they discontinued. So I don't think you can actually find the threader anymore, but this is exactly why you guys on the majority website, you should pay attention to the section that says leaving soon because when it leaves, it's gone forever. So when I told you guys to buy this threader, I really hope you guys bought it because I don't think they make this anymore. So I always also try to keep an eye out just so I can kind of like push it in these videos and give you guys an announcement. Also, I don't know why it went super dark all of a sudden. I'm so sorry. Toronto weather is a little bit bipolar. Make sure you also keep an eye out on that page in case there was one product that you've been eyeing and you want to purchase it and you just, you know, you don't want to miss your opportunity. Oh my God. Okay. So for example, I'm currently on the website and I'm on the leaving soon category and the bold beaded diamond eternity ring is gonna be gone okay this is the ring that i have here it is one of my favorite favorite rings i literally talk about it i think in the last collections video i'm not sure it's one of my favorite rings because it's just so 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 pretty so easily stackable and oh my god and it's so comfortable once again it you know is basically fat finger prevented even if your fingers get fat <laughs> you're still comfortable so that is one that's going another one that i have is the soft charlotte ring in white gold that is also leaving oh my god i'm actually kind of shook so there are a lot of really good pieces right now and the thin chain ring the thin chain ring is also leaving and so is the pave diamond midi hoops so if you're watching these videos the four that i just called out are like my go-to products. If you ever entertained the idea of getting it, now is the time. Now is the time. Moving on to the next category, I'm gonna go into, ooh, should I do skincare or hair? I'm gonna do hair. Okay, I'll do hair. So I actually worked with them this month, but the brand is called Pros, and this is a really interesting concept, you guys. Pros is a hair care brand that customizes your hair care routine, and they will literally send you the product and formulations to exactly what you ask for in a package, like depending on which product you wanna buy. I actually have have the entire hair care routine. So I've got the shampoo conditioner. I also have the pre-wash. I also have the hair oil. So make sure you check them out because it's such a cool concept. So you go online, you answer a bunch of questions about your hair, and then you get this like customized hair care. So for me personally, I emphasize having wavy hair. So I wanted something for my texture, but at the same time, because I bleached my hair, I wanted something that was super hydrating. And I also included things that I didn't want. For example, I didn't want sulfates because it's bad for color. I also was able to answer things like where I was living and stuff. So I thought that was really cool because they take into your geographic location into consideration when they actually formulate your product. So for example, since I live in Toronto, the climate here is typically pretty, pretty cold and dry. So that's something that they build into your hair care routine. And another thing as well, the other day I actually just washed my hair and I didn't have time. So I had wet hair and I got into an Uber to go pick up my car that was in service and the uber driver was like what are you wearing like it smells so good but i just got out of the shower so i didn't spray on any perfume so we were trying to figure it out i was just like i don't know like did i spray on this shirt like before like i don't know and then we realized it was actually from the shampoo and conditioner probably from the hair care routine but anyway the one thing i will also say is out of all the products my favorite for myself because obviously it's going to be different for everybody my favorite product in this line has been the conditioner i have never used such hydrating conditioner 
in my entire life. Like I was genuinely so surprised and just like a little bit just basically revived my hair definitely check it out um obviously everyone's hair care is still going to be different but wanted to call that out because i know before i was like using a million different products for different concerns like i'd be like okay i have blonde hair so i i, I was looking for like a hydration like blonde treatment but then i needed also something for my curly hair so i'm like so for shampoo and conditioner like what do i use so this is just such a great way to kind of like consolidate all your hair care into one by all means it is not cheap but you have to remember they are literally customizing the formulation to you and you alone so let's keep that in mind as well anyway i also have a discount code actually i almost forgot about that i have the discount code from my partnership on instagram this one is not paid by the way um i actually like i said review it even before i even do the paid partnership so that's why a lot of them always end up in these videos anyway because i ask them i'm like i have to review it before i can actually promote it like or else that's just unethical so anyway that's also why i have a discount code i will just leave that for you below so going on to skincare because we have so much product to go through so the first skincare product that I wanted to go through is the glow recipe guava vitamin c dark serum so this is what it looks like the reason why I wanted to call this product out is because if you guys are new to my reviews I do want to mention that a lot of times I will find one product that is freaking amazing so for example one of my all-time favorite vitamin c serums is the one by dermalogica and there's another one by skinceuticals but a lot of the times like for example like the skinceuticals vitamin c serum yes it's phenomenal phenomenal everyone loves it but not everyone can afford that it's so expensive like hello it's basically just like I don't know like is it really worth blowing skin no it is but but like it's so expensive so a lot of the times I will continue to review other products because I want to be able to see like seriously what else is there that is affordable and this is a really really great option so I will say obviously it is fragrance so I do want to always call that out as well because for those of you who have really sensitive skin don't use anything that is fragranced but I also know some people that like fragranced products like myself because I don't have super sensitive skin so I like to smell good anyway this product compared to some other vitamin c serums out there like this one is actually pretty affordable and it performs pretty well for the price point I would say some other ones in like the 70 80 dollar range performs just slightly better but this one for the price like just for slightly a little bit not as good you're saving like 30 bucks so I don't know. I feel like it's pretty worth the price. You are getting what you pay for. So if you guys want to elevate it and pay like also like SkinCeuticals is like 200, I think for the vitamin C, you can go for that. But if this is within your budget, I really recommend this one. This one's really good for that price range. The next two products I wanted to recommend literally has the same vibe as the vitamin C serum that I recommended. This is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Cream. This is what it looks like. Okay, and then this is the serum. I would say that these two combo duo reminds me so much, so much of the Lancome one that I raved about like months ago where I was like the Lancome one was so expensive. Like the two products together, the serum and the cream was so expensive, but it was so worth it. What goes on your face? I don't, I don't even know. It's just like, it just made as everything disappear it made your skin smoother and it worked really fast but those two products are really really expensive these two have pretty much the same results i would only say for me personally the difference was that it worked a little slower the lancome one was like a rabbit and this one would be like a turtle but like the results were pretty much the same if you gave it the time and because i review my products for over a month um i was able to see the results in like three weeks or so like third and fourth week so this one because i always do price comparisons for you guys okay not always but like a lot of times for example okay this cream in canadian dollars is 129 dollars for 50 milliliters the lancome one that i'm talking about is 30 milliliters for 156 dollars so if you break that down for one milliliter of the lancome you're paying five dollars one milliliter okay like 5.2 dollars for this one you're paying 2.58 once again what i'm saying is if you guys always want me to recommend the best products of course but like a lot of the times that would also be like pretty expensive but this one is a very good mid range like it's still not cheap but it works i would say reminds me so much of the lancome one 
but it is it's almost half of the price. So definitely take a look at that because I thought that was worth it. The next product I have to call out is my current lip combo because a lot of you guys ask me for my lip combo and then usually it's too late because I forget what I put on my lips. So I'm just gonna tell you guys right now because this item is also part of this month's favorite. The favorite this month is the Nude Sticks Matte Luxe All Over Face Blush Color. So this is what it looks like. And I've actually already raved about this product on TikTok and on Instagram. But what I love about this product is obviously it is a blush. So this is what the blush looks like. It's very, very creamy like this. It's just kind of like a cream. It also comes with a brush and Taylor Frankel, the founder, honestly a genius. You can actually take this off and wash it. I know, right? When she showed this to us, I was like, hello, this is amazing. Okay. Basically, you can also wash the brush. The lip color, I have to tell you guys, oh my God, it is so good. This is the combo. This is the blush today, as well as my lip product. I like to bring this everywhere with me because I like to use it on my face and my lip. And I feel like when you use the same color, it just looks cohesive, you know? It's like a matching workout set, but for your face. Like that's the vibe that I get. Anyway, so I absolutely love this product. Definitely check it out. Oh, sorry, I also wanna call out the color. So the color that I'm wearing today is nude buff and the lip liner that I am pairing it with is the Charlotte Tilbury one in hot gossip the two favorite colors that I have in this collection are nude buff which is this one and another one that you guys also loved was Dolce Darling so make sure you check that out because so good so good the next product is absolutely not new i have reviewed this product before but i wanted to bring it in this video because i wanted to call it out and kind of just like talk about it for a second for those of you who also like me love the anastasia brow freeze i realized something okay although this product is great it does not perform well in humidity so if you go to a humid location for example every time i have vacationed in a hot place like when i was in miami or whatever it was i just always found that this product was not it so i realize it is better for drier climates like toronto i love it but then for the more humid places i realize that the 24 hour brow setter by benefit is way better so i actually like to alternate between the two products depending on where i'm going and i feel like this is important as well because like a lot of the times when you see people review things including myself and you do try it and you're just like this is not working for me like oh my god this is such a lie like blah blah a lot of the times humidity your weather condition whatever has a lot to do with it which is also why this is so great but anyway i just want to mention that because in case some other people are just like this is not working for them try the 24 hour brow setter if you live in a more humid one and if you live in a drier climate then this one is king so the next beauty product is none other than the dyson air wrap and you can see my hair right now hopefully by the time you see this video the reel of this tutorial is also going up i just filmed it right before i'm filming this but of course the dyson air wrap comes as no surprise to you guys that i love it i actually have been using it for three months i just keep on forgetting to put it in this video i got the second generation of the dyson air wrap and if you guys didn't know the only difference really besides some of the other minor differences, but I would say like the revolutionary difference is that for the actual wand, instead of changing it per direction, you can actually just change the airflow now from the top here. So for me, there are a lot of attachments that come with the Dyson Airwrap, obviously, but the only one that I really, really use is the hair dryer, which they've also changed as well this time. This one, the big one, actually, I only use the big one. It is the 1.5 inch, I believe. And then sometimes I'll still use this product but usually these two are my go-to's is the Dyson Airwrap expensive yes why am I bringing it up because the 20% off at Sephora is coming up also make sure you subscribe to my newsletter so you can see all of my recommendations when the sale is out I really wanted to recommend the Dyson Airwrap either way because I realized that like if you buy the blow dryer it is still like so expensive this also already comes with the blow dryer and all the curling and etc so with just a few hundred dollars more i think one or two hundred you're getting also the blow dryer so for me i feel like this recommendation is more about if you're debating between a hair dryer or the dyson air app just get the air app because obviously this already comes with the blow dryer and another thing is that i have a hair curler as well i feel like where the dyson air app honestly is elite besides the fact that they try to sell you on less damage which 
I don't know if it's less damage, but whatever. The other thing is honestly, my hair curler just doesn't give me this level of fluff so if you are looking for like a more tight looking curl and you want it to last all day i still recommend a hair curler but if you're looking for more like a fluffy like blowout honestly i don't think any other product out there can really replace it because i did also have the revlon product which i also reviewed ages and ages ago but this one still comes out winning so wanted to put that out there in case you guys were on the fence because i am obsessed with my dyson airwrap the next product i wanted to recommend is oh sorry it is heavy because i'm leaving for a flight soon which is why you don't see there's two missing bags there because i packed it but it is this backpack from lululemon at a collaboration with lululemon as well you guys can take a look at my entire haul everything i ever own or whatever is hopefully always going to show up on my website the ones i like anyway so www.lisaway.com slash lululemon you can see the entire haul but because the haul is so big i just wanted to call out the one product that has actually changed my life the other products are amazing as well obviously but for the sake of this video not being five hours, I'm just gonna pick the one product to share with you guys. So this backpack, the biggest seller for me and the reason why I bought it is because of this strap right here. This, for me, I can put this on my suitcase and I can just literally drag it and not have to carry my backpack anymore. If you guys watched my How I Pack video for my carry-on, I had my Arcteryx backpack, which is great, obviously, but the only issue with that backpack is that it can't attach itself to my suitcase. The other problem, which I didn't even realize was a problem, until I got this backpack is that the laptop compartment is completely on the outside so if you guys can see right here the laptop compartment is outside instead of in the bag as well and why this matters so much is because when you're traveling and going to the airport they always make you take out your laptop so it's so much easier if you can just actually take out your laptop instead of having to kind of like push everything through in your backpack just to grab out your laptop and then by the time you put it in it's like so tight and it's like hard to put in I really really like that this compartment is on the outside it also has a lot of other compartments on the inside as well that i find extremely useful there's a huge pocket right here there's obviously the two pockets here for your water bottles which is another thing compared to my uh, my old one which i only had one pocket this one has two there's just like little pockets in there as well that has been really really useful for me so i highly highly recommend checking out this backpack i think it sells out quick so every time if you are looking at the website right now and it's sold out it will come back but it will also once again sell out very quickly so make sure you just keep your eyes peeled it is such a great backpack i really recommend and it also fits my laptop that's 16 inches so just to kind of give you guys an idea of the size of the backpack it's really really good okay so that was pretty much the entire video for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye